the T Deck, the absolute best mesh tastic device. Now, to anybody who watched the Spec 5 Ranger video, this is a little throwback, you know. But this is the Intergalactic Communicator Tanmatsu, okay. Now, I swear, I came across this thing, right? And I'm like, wow, that is cool. So I went ahead and got it, and oh my gosh, guys. Absolute most beautiful mesh tastic device I've ever seen. Best mesh tastic device I've ever seen. And there's some people out here hating on Tanmatsu, okay? And they're like, it's not powerful at all, blah, blah, blah. Okay? I talked to some guy last night. Actually, it was my goat Dizaz, not some guy. And he was like, I don't want one. It, it's like, it looks like trash. And then I explained it to him, right? I'm like, well, it does this, it does this, it does this, it does this. He's like, I'm ordering two right now. So hopefully that's what this video does for you guys. As you can notice, I'm still kind of sick. But these were kind of like my birthday present. I mean, I ordered it myself, but it got here on my birthday. But let me show you around. Okay, now obviously this thing is just beautiful, okay? Now this is the Cyberduck design. They have a few different colorways. They also have just the plain black design. And I don't know, guys, this one has the hexagons. But I mean, like, look, it doesn't say intergalactic communicator. There's a few differences. This one has little flowers. This one has the lines. This one's just white. Um, I mean, this one says intergalactic communicator, so I feel like it wins automatically for that one. But let me show you why they're so sick. So it comes with its own OS on it and a custom build of Mestastic. Now you have to flash Mestastic. We'll go over that next video, maybe. As it did seem. It wasn't hard. It was just... Once you get it down, you get it down. So we have a few buttons over here and a few actually important things. So this runs on the ESP32 C6, and we have our lower module. But there's a few things going on here. So we have our headphone jack. We have a UART. We have a few buttons. We have a power button. And then we have our antenna. Now this comes with a pretty small antenna, which is nice. But I'll say, with that antenna, I was getting, like, no nodes. And now I'm getting just so many from inside, too. So then heading up here, we have a USB-C. We have a USB port, which is super nice. SD card slot to load some maps on. And GPIO. And that's really what you're going to see on the outside. Now the buttons are very nice. I mean, let's get a close mic shot on them. It reminds me of the U console a lot with the keyboard. I like these ones a little more. I do like how U consoles does pop out a little more, though. These ones are pretty flat. I mean, obviously, still pretty grippy. And then you have a few different keys. One of my favorite things about this is you'll notice it is not touchscreen. Which with the big disc, well, with the big display like this, you may be like Ilya. Wow, that kind of made it not good. Okay, I got this guy, and I'm like, how do I navigate? And now I move this through this thing so fast. I mean, I'm able to come here, go to my chats, and I've really just I've gotten so used to this after like a day of using it. So I don't feel like it's too bad of a drawback. I mean, even my friend, he bought a few, and then he's like, I don't know how to use this, and a day later he's set. So you could do a bunch of stuff on here, right? So. One of my main favorite things, though, is it has these colored buttons. So X takes you to the main screen. Triangle takes you to the nodes around you. Square, your group channels. Green, your active group channels. And then you have your maps. And then you have your settings and stuff. So it is super easy to navigate because you have these functions built in. I mean, when you do get the maps running, oh my gosh, it just looks so sick. Now keep in mind that this is a custom build of... Mashtastic. So it's not fully done yet. And what I say by that is this guy has had to build the hardware all by himself. And the hardware, well, it's beautiful, okay? But the software, it's really not there yet, okay? I haven't had many problems with the actual Mashtastic firmware itself, except for when I loaded maps on and it became kind of buggy. Other than that, though, I feel like it moves pretty nicely. You're able to navigate very smoothly. I'm able to reach a bunch of nodes. And you plug this in your computer, and I do really feel like it is the future of Meshtastic. Now, I know you guys are asking this question. How much ducats does it cost? Okay. Now, does it cost 200 400 Those all seem 250 I feel like that's pretty reasonable. You could get these for 110 euros. That is just a little bit more than a T-Deck, and you're getting so much more. Okay, guys. I really love these guys. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check them out. Go join my Discord, ages 13 to 17. I plan to make a bunch more videos with this guy. 
because I really just do love it. If you want a link to the antenna, I'll drop that below also. Philly link, and I mean, that really is just it. Sorry for my voice, guys. Like I said, I'm sick, but still came out to make these vids for you guys. And go show the creator some love. Show me some pics when you guys get them. And I can't wait for you guys to get these in your hands. As you better order quick, because Christmas time's around. And after I drop this video, I know they're going to be busy. But really, in a size difference, you have like your T deck. I feel like the T decks are like a toy when it comes to this, though. So. I mean, it is just a little more than half a T deck. But. This is plastic. This is just the PCB. Anyway, that is it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking up a Tan Matsu. Bye.